Hazrat Hassan, peace be upon him. Hazrat Hassan, peace be upon him, one of the people of the book, was the grandson of our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He was the son of Hazrat Ali, peace be upon him, and the Prophet's Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam daughter Hazrat Fadime, peace be upon her, and was born in Medina on the third year of the Hagira. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam read the call to prayer, Adam, into his ear and gave him the name Hassan. Hazrat Hassan was one of the young people who swore allegiance to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam while he was still a child. He was brought up with his immaculate education. He is the subject of much praise from Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in many hadiths. When he was eight, he lost first his grandfather, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and then his mother, Hazrat Fatima, peace be upon her. He was then raised by his father, Hazrat Ali, peace be upon him. Hazrat Hassan, peace be upon him, had an attractive white face and resembled our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam more than anyone else. Hazrat Hassan, peace be upon him, was filled with the love of Allah, gentle, dignified, peace-loving, compassionate, patient, and virtuous. He spent his possessions on Allah's path and gave away much in alms. Hazrat Hassan, peace be upon him, went on the Hajj on foot 25 times. He had 15 sons and 8 daughters. All his wives loved Hazrat Hassan, peace be upon him, very much. Together with Hazrat Hussein, peace be upon him, Hazrat Hassan, peace be upon him, is one of the two holy figures through whom the line of our Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, has come down to the present day. Our Prophets, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, love and affection for Hazrat Hassan. Our Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, loved Hazrat Hassan, peace be upon him, very much, and treated him with great affection. Several companions described how our Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, loved his grandchildren and took an interest in and played with them. Al-Bara, peace be upon him. I saw the Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, with Hassan on his shoulder. Adnan Oktar. They traveled around on their grandfather's shoulders, our Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, one on the right shoulder, one on the left. Our Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, used to carry them round in the garden in such places or when going to the mosque. That was what they delighted in most, clinging to their grandfather. They were both truly cute, mashallah. Rasulullah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, loved Hazrat Hassan, peace be upon him, very much. He would joke with him, place him on his lap, kiss him and allow him to play with his blessed hair. Usama, son of Hazrat Zaid, peace be upon him, said this of our Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Rasulullah would put me on one knee and his grandson Hassan on the other. Then he would embrace us both and pray, O oh Lord, have mercy on them, because I am most compassionate towards them. As a young child, Hazrat Hassan, peace be upon him, would come to our Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he was praying, and climb on his back and neck as he prostrated himself. Because of his love and compassion for Hazrat Hassan, peace be upon him, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would get up very slowly in order to ensure that he would not fall off. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would often call his two grandsons Hassan and Hussein, whom he described as the two pillars of the world, to him and embrace them to him. Abu Ayyab Ansari, peace be upon him, relates, One day I came into the presence of Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Hassan and Hussein were playing in front of them. O oh, Rasulullah, you must love them very much, I said. How could I not love them? They are my two pillars in this world, whom I kiss and smell, he said. Whoever loses the sun must turn to the moon. If he loses that, he must turn to the stars. When the people of Kiram asked him for an explanation of this hadith, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, I am the sun, the moon is Ali, Fadime is a star. The two stars near the North Pole are Hassan and Hussein. Whoever loves Hassan and Hussein loves me, but whoever hates them hates me. The Caliphate of Hazrat Hassan, peace be upon him. With the martyrdom of Hazrat Hassan's, peace be upon him, father Hazrat Ali, peace be upon him, he became Caliph in 661 AD. 
40,000 people swore allegiance to him. In the seventh month of his caliphate, as his and Mawiyah's armies were making preparations for battle near Baghdad, Hazrat Hassan, peace be upon him, relinquished the caliphate in favor of Mawiyah. Because of this agreement in 661, that year was known as Amul Kamma, the year of unity in the history of Islam. At the same time, this also pointed to a miracle of our prophets, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, because when Hazrat Hassan, peace be upon him, was very young, Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, pointed to him and said, This son of mine is a Sayyid. Almighty Allah will reconcile two sides through him. No Muslim blood was spilled due to Hazrat Hassan's, peace be upon him, relinquishing the caliphate, and peace and tranquility were established. In this way, Rasulullah's sallallahu alayhi wa sallam words about Hazrat Hassan came true. Hazrat Mahdi, peace be upon him, is descended from the line of Hazrat Hassan, peace be upon him. In the hadiths, our prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam describes distinctive and distinguishing features of Hazrat Mahdi, peace be upon him, so that Muslims can recognize him. One of these is that Hazrat Mahdi, peace be upon him, will be descended from the line of Hazrat Hassan, peace be upon him. Hazrat Mahdi is one of the children of Hazrat Fadime and descended from the line of Hassan. Taman relates in his work, the Fawiyad, and Ibn Asakir relates from Abdullah bin Amir that he said, one who is a child of Hassan, Hazrat Mahdi, will appear from the east, and even if the mountains oppose him, he will overcome them and make paths for himself in the mountains. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gave Hazrat Mahdi, peace be upon him, and Hazrat Hassan, peace be upon him, the glad tidings of paradise. Hakim Ibn Majah and Abu Naim related from Hazrat Anas. I heard Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say, seven people from among the sons of Abdul Muttalib are the lords of paradise. Me, Hamza, Ali, Jafar, Hassan, Hussein, and Hazrat Madi. What Hazrat Ali, peace be upon him, said about Hazrat Hassan, peace be upon him, Hazrat Hussein, peace be upon him, and his own martyrdom. Hazrat Hassan, peace be upon him, was exposed to various forms of persecution during the ten-year period of the Imams. He was not even safe in his own home, and he was eventually poisoned and martyred in the fiftieth year of the Hegira. Adnan Oktar Look, what does my forebear say? My beloved Hazrat Ali, peace be upon him, said, I swear to Allah that I and my two sons, Hassan and Hussein, will be martyred. He swore to Allah while he was still alive. Our Prophet wasallam, said, You and you and you, the three of you will be martyred. He swore that since it came through revelation. Look, Hazrat Ali, peace be upon him, said, Praise be to Allah, I swear to Allah, I and these two sons of mine will be martyred. And he will send one of my descendants, Hazrat Mahdi, he says. He will seek our blood and take vengeance for us. How? Through establishing a global reign. The line of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had come to an end, hadn't it? But he will appear, and the line of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam will establish a global reign, inshallah. Millions of Sayyid will rise up, in the spiritual sense, inshallah. He says he will seek our blood, the blood of Hazrat Hassan, peace be upon him, and Hazrat Hussein, peace be upon him, and Hazrat Ali, peace be upon him, will be smeared on Hazrat Madi's, peace be upon him, brow. He will take revenge for them. That is his global reign, the elimination of disbelief. Of course, the blood is rubbed on his brow in three lines, inshallah, inshallah.